afternoon. They said that makes you think that they wouldn't just be, be in violation again. Well, but. look, again, I, I think we're going to leave uh, what was said in the room, the specifics of what was said in the room to the room. Um, but I think we'll be mindful of the history of this. Uh, we will need our own assurances uh, that any arrangements that uh, we're able to arrive at, uh, that there is transparency, uh, that we're not just trusting one another uh, when it comes to uh, what we're hearing, what we're saying, what we're doing uh, when it comes to intermediate range missiles, uh, weapons, or, or any, other, uh, any other area. Andrea. Um, so I wonder, do you, do you anticipate that they will? Uh, we've been very clear that, uh, and, and the Russians have been uh, uh, very public uh, about um, the issues they have raised uh, in their two treaties. Uh, we've been very clear that there are some areas of potential overlap uh, when it comes to our security concerns uh, and theirs. We've also been very clear there are areas that are non-starters for us. Uh, and so the point of today, the point of Wednesday, of Thursday, is to determine if there is uh, enough in that Venn diagram of overlap uh, for us to uh, make progress going forward on a reciprocal basis. Now, again, I don't expect uh, any breakthroughs will be reached uh, on Wednesday. I don't expect any breakthroughs on Thursday. This is the beginning of a diplomatic process. Uh, we, are, we welcome the fact that the Russian Federation is taking part uh, in this dialogue we with, uh, with us. We think it's important. Uh, again, it is our preferred course, and we believe it's a viable course, and we're testing that now. Did Paul Whelan and Trevor Reed come up at all in the discussion? Hi, everyone. Okay. Um, well, Zeke, uh, there are 100,000 troops at the border now. Obviously, returning those troops to the barracks, returning troops to the barracks, uh, conveying to us their intention of doing that. Uh, is certainly would be easy ways uh, to show de-escalation. Uh, as I noted a little bit earlier, we see this as a path, as a, as a set of three rounds of conversations that will occur uh, this week. Uh, uh, as you've heard many of our national security officials state, but I will reiterate from here, uh, no talks without about Europe without Europe, no talks without U about Ukraine without Ukraine, and that is certainly our mentality. So we are moving forward with the other two rounds of talks and discussions here, but absolutely, the aggressive action, the bellicose rhetoric came from the Russians, so they have the ability and the power to de-escalate. 